Here comes Richard Usher from Queenstown, ladies and gentlemen. The one day winner. He has 30 metres to go. 11 hours, about to go to 11 hours and 43. Here comes, here comes Richard Usher. Richard Usher, 11 hours and 44 minutes, almost flat. And there's a man that has been on a mission today, number 208. The unfortunate part of the day is New Zealand will not be a World Teams Challenge winner. Unfortunately, George Christensen having to pull out of the event. He's had the flu. He tried his, he, he did his damnedest to stay in the event to George Christensen. That unfortunately does put New Zealand out of the World Teams Challenge. But Richard Usher savouring his moment. Oh, that is a beautiful moment. That's his partner. And here he is a happy man. And I'll tell you what, he's besieged by the media right now. We're going to get our... <laughs> We're going to get in there amongst it. Richard, mate, <laughs> well done. How, uh, can you actually speak? Can you actually, what have you got to say at this stage? Oh, I'm just, just so happy. This is, when I, when I first started Māori Sport, this was the dream and, and it's taken six years, but now it's, it's happened. So I'm, I'm just wrapped, I'm stoked. At what stage of the race today did you actually think, oh, okay, you made a move in the 15 kilometre bike leg and then basically held on. Did you, any preconceived plan? You said you were actually quite relaxed. But when you made your move, it was a matter of just hanging on? Well, my whole plan today was to, to just race as conservatively as I could until I got to the Red Bridge on the kayak and then just go for it till the end. And um, I was just, yeah, everything just worked great today. I felt really strong and, um, yeah, it's just, it's just magic. I'm, I'm so wrapped. You said to me uh, just before we raced that you thought of it as a bit of a sprint, you know, compared to all the adventure racing. I mean, that's one hell of a sprint, 234 kilometres. Well, yeah, it's not really a sprint, I guess, but when you're used to racing for five days, then, you know, like, your, your perception of what's long sort of changes. So when you think, geez, I've got four hours to go in the kayak, it's, you know, like we were doing 10, 12, 15-hour kayaks of Primal Quest this year. So, it, you know, like, it's just much easier to break it down into manageable bites when you've been doing the really long racing. And you tried not to put any pressure on yourself. You said, I'm in this pretty relaxed, no expectations. But and that sort of, you looked pretty, you came through Klondike Corner looking pretty happy with the way things were going. Yeah, I, I was really happy, like my, my biggest um, unknown was whether I could stick with George through the run and George had a few problems today unfortunately and um, I mean Ross ran really well and, and I just, rather than, I've always sort of gone out and tried to bust everything apart on the run and today I just wrapped myself the whole way and um, you know, so when I finished the run I felt great and, and from there I I just tried to concentrate on the process and, and doing everything right and, um, you know, luckily I had it, had it today, it's great.